Hey there guys, I hope all is going well. Today I'm going to be talking to you about um, XML and login transfer and how to optimize your video to make it the best video quality for Final Cut Express 4. Um, one thing to remember um, before we get into this is that you always want to um, keep working with the same um, dimensions as well as same video quality as your actual camera or else then it'll work weird, like look really weird. So here we have a clip that I have already imported. And um, you can have one or two or however many clips you want for this. Um, and um, this is how to export it for an XML. And what this means it's going to send a file of which is just a lines of code of which then will link back to these clips in iMovie. So here's the clip. And don't do anything with um, the audio. Don't balance out the audio. Don't do anything with text. Um, this is all going to be done in Final Cut Express. But once you got all the clips in order, come up here to share and hit export Final Cut XML. So let's just call this tutorial XML. And then it's going to export. We can close out this. And then here it is on my desktop. If we open it up and look at it, we can see here it's just a bunch of text uh, and lines of code. So we don't need anything like that. But now to import this to um, Final Cut Express 4, you come up here to File, Import, um, XML from iMovie. Then it's going to come over here and we can find it right there. Hit Choose. Now here is um, XML iMovie. This is the clip right here. And as we can see, it looks beautiful. If we can like, blow this up for you, I can see, um, or we can see. That it does look like it's full HD. Um, I don't see any quality degrading. Um, again, just because it's linking it straight back to iMovie. So now, if we go ahead and use the login transfer, which is um, the way to import it straight into Final Cut Express, come up here to File, um, Login Transfer. And this is going to bring up a little bit of a user interface of um, all the clips that are on your um, camera. Now I have a hard drive uh, camera which means everything is just um, individual files so uh, yours might look a little bit different than mine um, but once we're here we can find the clip we can play it, make sure it's the right clip say alright and then add selection to queue. Now it's going to import and you'll see a little prog uh, progress bar right there and I'll uh, tell you that it's uploading as well as a little bit of a status bar. So now once this imports, we can now close out of this. Or if you wanted to add a name, scene, but I'm not gonna use um I need that right now. So here's a clip, clip two hundred and twelve. Now we can then drag this clip into the timeline right afterwards. And as we can see from these two clips right here both the XML and the um, login transfer clip, they both look pretty much identical. We don't see any degrading in quality, um, again, because they're both um, raw footage. It's just one's linking, or one's a link and one's not. One's an actual file. So now back here in Final Cut Express, um, the only difference uh, between these two, like the only pro and con would be, um, well, for the pro, Everything is um, stuck into Final Cut Express. So if you're a kind of person that doesn't like all these weird linkings and like it in individual groups, this will work re uh, re really well for you. Um, the only con about this, um, I can't really think of any cons per se, although if you have any, leave them in the com uh, comments bar down below. But um, for cons um, about the uh, linking with XMLs, um, is because um, one of the things, again, like the linking, but then again, this actually makes the file size of the Final Cut Express document very low, so you can keep it on your hard drive or um, anywhere else. Um, and that's one con about um, importing the footage straight into uh, Final Cut, is because then it's going to build up the actual file size of the Final Cut document. Now, if you have a fast computer, uh, computer that shouldn't be a problem, but that's just one thing to be aware of. 
And um, another thing I'd like to uh, talk about is keeping it um, un, um, only encoding it once, pretty much, and try uh, to avoid re-encoding. And what that means is, if you were to come over here to um, iMovie, if we were to just load this up really quick, and then take this clip and hit share, and export, uh, not Final Cut XML, but if we were to export it using QuickTime or as a movie, this is going to encode this footage, and then we'd um, edit it in this, and then re-encode it for the output. Uh, so pretty much what that means is the quality is going to degrade a little bit if you try to re-encode it. Um, just because, you know, you're kind of editing it and editing it and editing it until it's kind of like not very much left. It's a little bit complicated, but I hope you get the point. So that has been my tutorial of XMLs and login transfers. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.